Hubba dee dum boo bum de be bam de bowl. Zikit cut scoots cuts ki dum de boo. Skilly do da bum de be bam de bum. Reap up but eat it to the game to be. Skilly dee dee dum de be bam de bum. Hop doos bum de be bam de bow. Skit and skat and skilly dee dee dum de. Skit a ba dee 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 I brung you some flowers, Olive. Popeye, I thought I told you I wasn't going to see you again until you decided to get an education. But, 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 Olive, I've been to sea since I was a kid, and I ain't never had a chance to get educated. Well, it's never too late to start, and I'm not seeing you again till you decide to go to school. <laughs> Is this the place he enrolls to get the education? Uh, quite right. Uh, bring the child right in. I am the child, and I wants to get an education. Hmm. You look like a smart young fellow. I think you can start in our highest grade. <laughs> today is on Shakespeare. I am your new pupil. Very well, Mr. Popeye. Uh, take that seat over there. Now, <clears throat> who knows what Caesar said when Brutus stabbed him? All right, Mr. Popeye. What did Caesar say when Brutus stabbed him? He said, ouch. <laughs> now, which child can tell me what a verb is and what is an adverb? Yes, Mr. Popeye? A voib is an aminal, and an advoib is a female voib. <laughs> a verb ain't no fish, and it ain't no bird, so I thought it must be an aminal. How would you divide four apples among five children? <laughs> Yes, Mr. Popeye? Makes applesauce. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, getting an education ain't easy. How much is ten and fifteen? <laughs> Whoops! I see your hand is up, Mr. Popeye. I'm waiting for the answer. <laughs> this is my last chance on a counter there ain't no lower grade.
tell you, Olive, Popeye's slug happy and going off his rocker. He just picks fights for no reason at all. Oh, Brutus, you're his best friend. What can we do to help him? Olive, I'm glad you mentioned it. Now, if you can get Popeye to see this psychiatrist, I'm sure he can be straightened out. It's about time someone did something about all your unnecessary fighting. Uh, 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 unnecessary fighting? Uh, 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 do something about it. But, 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 Olive! Just what does you want me to tell you, Professor Shrinker? Well, Mr. Popeye, to start with, we will have to go back to your childhood. Just when did you had your worst fight? Well, comes to think of it, it was a long, long time ago when I was a little baby kid about two years old. I was peaceably laying in me carriage, drinking me bottle of spinach juice, when that roughneck baby Brutus come along and tips me over. And lucky for me, I lands on me head. <laughs> Well, what did you do then, Mr. Popeye? Why, I did what any red-blooded baby kid would do. I took a good swig of me spinach juice, and I sucked someone. <laughs> Very interesting. Very interesting. Now, when you was older, did you still had occasion to fight? Well, let me see now. Oh, there was the time I was taking me girlfriend Olive to school on me bicycle. When all of a sudden, me bike stops, even though I was pedaling with all me might. It was that big bully Brutus again. <laughs> the spinach that was the cause of all your trouble. You really think so, Professor? Why, there's no bow to doubt it. Get rid of your spinach and your fighting neuroses will be over. Farewell, sweet friend. Hotting will be such sorrow. <laughs> I must be brave. I wonder how Popeye is making out with a professor. That's funny. It's Popeye's special brand. Uh, comes to think of it, that spinach did gives me that strength for me fighting. Well, blow me down. Brutus. Now, Rut, I'll take the fight out of you without that spinach crimping my style. Where I finish off that little squirt. A vast, you swab. Here's a present from a gob. <laughs> Spinach ain't a diagnosis, Brutus was done to roses off by my disease, man.
sweet peas ball. <laughs> oh, well, boys will be boys. I was a boy once to myself. I doesn't like to discourage youthful enthusiasm, but... Blow me down a basket. And a ringer. <laughs> I hope they don't get too rough. Ooh, this is ridiculous. Sweet pea! Oh, bag nabbit! Now there's sort of a tiny little bit of sort of bag nabbit. Sorry, Dr. Bag nabbit. Uncle Popeye sounds mad. I wonder why. It's our toys that are lost. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Saved it. Yeah, you threw it too high again. Now listen, you kids. I am gonna show you how to play the game the right way without busking things all up. Ah, uh, why don't you let the kids have some fun? You just keep out of this. Go on, Uncle Popeye. Yeah, go on. First, you gots to have rules. I make up my own. Like being a good sport. The home are you referring to? Now, here's the way to throw the ball. Catch. <laughs> I can do better than that. You can't, cause you're a bully. Bully for you, too. I can do any sport better than you can. No, you can't. Yes, I can. Wanna bat? Can, 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 I caught it. Okay, good sport. Toss me your easy one. I'll give them a zoomer. <laughs> Very sporting. <laughs> <laughs> so, yous wants to play rough, huh? Kids, this is the wrong way, but I got to teach them a lesson. Gee, I didn't count on this. That's a three-point goal. I'm coming after you, sailor boy. And vice versa, boysman. Being a good sport is fun. Yeah, we'll play your game. And we'll play ours. That's right, kids. Each to his own. <laughs>
I hope Olive will get a kick out of this birthday's card I'm sending her. Flash, we interrupt this program to bring you a special announcement. A flying saucer has been sighted over the city. A flying saucer? <laughs> it might be dangerous. Take cover, stay indoors until further notice. Stays indoors? Is he kidding? I gotta go out so I can mail this greeting card to Olive. Ahoy, there's me mailbox. I didn't know they had one so close to me house. It must have slipped out. Uh, I guess that does it. Huh? Say, what's going on here? Oh, this thing must have a hole in it. Hmm, it's stuck. Oh, here we go. I won't take any more chances. This time, I'll put it all the way inside. Well, that's that. Now I'll go seize Olive in poison. <coughs> Am I glad to see you? The feeling is mucilage, Olive. <laughs> How do you like my new plant? It's beautiful, Olive. Uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, 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 it's called a rose, Popeye. An unknown admirer sent it to me for my birthday. Oh, he did, huh? Well, who was it? Huh. I don't know. I said he was unknown. At least it wasn't you, because you don't have any sentiment. I does, too. I got lots of sentiment. Well, hmm, I'm going to put this plant out in the sun. Imagine not knowing what a rose is. I knows what I knows. I'll leave it right here so it'll grow. Oh, now we can take a walk if you like. I just want to take another look at it to... Huh? It's gone. Yeah, Olive, it's real nice. All right, Popeye, very funny. Where is it? Uh, where's what? My flower pot. It was right there. Oh, Popeye, help! Popeye! What you doing, Olive? Well, that's a pretty good trick, but I thought you wanted to go for a walk. Popeye, I'm <laughs> oh, Popeye, it got you! Oh, no, you don't! Stop, thief! Come back! You let him out of there, you, you, you beast! It's okay, Olive. Oh, Popeye. Uh -oh. Hey, where are we going? <laughs> What's with this mailbox, anyway? Okay, let's take that walk. And here's your flower pot back. Oh, thank you, Popeye. Uh-oh, here we go again. Hey, let me out. Popeye, get out of there. We're supposed to go for a walk. What? My flower! Come back here with my flower pot! Stop, thief! Stop, thief! Hmm, I smell spinach. Oh, so she wants to play, huh? Well, plays with that. <coughs> I don't mind flying Soskas unless they get sasky. My regards to outer space. Well, maybe this will put you back into orbit. like I am on you. Oh, <laughs> Popeye, you did remember. Now, this is from a known admirer. <laughs> 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 